Hello. Today I'm discussing how to kite in Don't Starve. Kiting is the art of dodging an enemy's attack, waiting for the attack animation to complete, then rushing in and attacking them a certain number of times. Kiting patterns differentiate between each creature that you can kill. In this video I will go through the different types of kiting required for different types of mob. The poll results from last video were unanimous, so kiting it is. Kiting is a pretty valuable skill to learn. It means you can easily avoid taking as much damage from enemies than if you were tanking them. Wearing armour is still advised in case you mess up, which can still happen, especially if you have to rotate your camera or move around due to a land border or other obstacle. Kiting is especially valuable if you're playing a character like Maxwell with low health. The first type of kiting isn't even really kiting. It applies to mobs that generally have low health. These mobs can be stun locked indefinitely by repeatedly attacking them. However, these mobs generally appear in groups of more than one, and as such you'll need to run in, land a few hits, and run out of their attack range. Mobs that require a kiting pattern like these are spiders, bees, and mosquitoes, to name a few. If the group of mobs is big enough, it actually becomes impossible to run away from them, because they'll keep pushing each other forward, so tanking will be your only option in situations like these. The second type of kiting is more advanced than the first option. You'll always need to dodge back and forth between enemies' attacks. The number of hits that you can land in, in between attacks depends on the enemy. Enemies like hounds can be attacked twice before dodging is required. This goes the same for clockwork knights, tall birds, pigs, and probably a few others. There's so many monsters in this game, it's hard to keep track of them all. There are also a few mobs who can only be hit once in between animations. Mobs like these are tentacles and frogs, for example. The third type of kiting is when a mob attempts to kite you. Plot twist! However, these mobs aren't actually that hard as all you have to do is dodge their attack, then hit them as much as you can four times before they attack you again. A few mobs like these are Pigmen, Merms, and Maxwell's Shadow Duelists in PvP. Repeat this process a few times. The only problem with this strategy is that mobs that use this pattern, like Pigmen and Merms, often appear in groups. This can make it difficult, however there are other ways to kill Pigs and Merms. For Pigs, you can feed one of them some meat, and then force attack another Pig by holding Control F. Walk in any direction before you actually attack the other Pig, and the pig that you befriend will attack the pig. This causes some other pig to attack that pig because it attacked a pig, and then a pig will attack that pig, and so on, and so forth. Eventually the civil war will end and only a few pigs remain. Pick up all that delicious meat and pig skin that you did literally nothing to earn, you filthy animal. Merms are a different matter altogether, as they don't fall for pathetic bribing attempts. They can, however, be killed easily by a number of different creatures that also inhabit the swamp, like tentacles or spiders. Simply lure them to a tentacle or spider den and let the war begin. Then pick up all the tasty loot dropped by merms, tentacles and spiders. Just be sure not to stand on tentacles yourself. Some giants also have different kiting patterns. The Deoclops is the most basic of the four giants, requiring only a basic two hit kiting pattern. With multiple people, Deoclops can be killed pretty darn quickly. However, it drains your sanity by 400 a minute while standing near it. This means you'll have to fight shadow creatures along the Deoclops, unless you wear the Bee Queen crown or bring along lots of sanity foods and items. The Dragonfly has an even easier kiting pattern, because you can land 5 or 6 hits on it before dodging. If you have a walking cane or a path, you can land in a few more hits. To kite the Dragonfly, hit the Dragonfly till she moves her arm back to hit you. When this happens, switch to your walking cane if you're using it, and walk out of her range. Once you hear that oh-so-satisfying whoop sound, rush back in and repeat the process. In DST, the dragonfly spawns in her arena, which can be annoying because of the numerous lava pools around. Be very careful to avoid sending any of those. The moose, goose, or whatever the hell it is, has a basic 3 hit cutting pattern, but after every 3 of its attacks it will perform a honk, which makes you drop your weapon. To counter the honk after its third attack, hit it 4 times instead of 3. Then, unequip your weapon quickly to avoid it getting honked out of your hand. Then, run out of its attack range and repeat. If you're feeling extra kitey, you can land in an extra hit after unhipping your weapon from the honk attack. The beggar has a similar pattern to the moose goose, because after every three basic attacks, it'll perform a ground pound attack. When it's about to do the ground pound, move away after two hits as you would normally do, then go in again, but right after the ground pound, move away before it can hit you. Then the normal kiting pattern resumes. The Discord chat's going great. A few people have joined, more than I actually thought would. And it's quite enjoyable to chat about stuff with people. If you haven't joined, be sure to join. Bye!